So if anyone has ever told you that you can't do something or yourself you feel inadequate or maybe you think I can't do this because of certain thing, this video will prove to you that anything is possible. It might sound a little bit cliche, and you might hear this every now and then if you just believe it, you can do anything, but I'm gonna prove to you how and why this is true. Right now, we're on my way, we're in Latvia right now. This is where I was born. Right now, we're driving to my old house that I was growing up in between the ages of one to 10 years old. I'm just gonna show you guys the conditions and how I grew up and where I am right now. If I can do it, I promise you, you can do it as well. I have no extra guidance. I've, I've never had a mentor. I've never had money. I don't have an older brother, a dad, none of this. That, somebody who could just guide me and teach me, etc. I moved to the UK when I was 10 years old. I couldn't speak English, do you understand? And I'm gonna show you the conditions that I grew up in. So we're going right now. I'm gonna cut right now to the, the house once we get there. And I'll give you guys a bit more context about how I grew up and actually where I am now and how and why you can do exactly the same thing and anything that you want in this life. So guys, we've just gone ahead and got to my auntie's house who's got the keys to my old uh, dad's house. We're gonna drive now. My auntie lives about five minutes away from where I used to live, my uh, my dad's house. Sorry, it's a bit bumpy here. Uh, we're in the middle of like actually nowhere. So yeah, I've uh, got the keys now. We're driving to the old house now. We're gonna go ahead and open it, show you guys around, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys what it was like growing up here. I mean, I was only a child, so like I said, I grew up here until the age of 10, so there's only so much that I, one, can remember, and two, like, understood as a child, because now that I'm older, I obviously understand for what it is, but when you're a kid, it was amazing. It was amazing living here, you know? This is in the middle of nowhere. There is, I was saying this to, to the cameraman, there is only one shop in this entire village or town, if you want to call it, and there's maybe, maybe a thousand people I think, <laughs> like not a lot. So yeah, grew up just kind of uh, exploring the place by myself, adventuring as a little kid, uh, and it was great. However, the older I got, so like more the eight, the nine, the 10 years of age, the more I started to understand, oh, okay, so my family can't afford certain things, right? So, you know, when you're a kid and you're going to school and you might not have those pair of trainers or you might not have that cool backpack that all the other kids have, that's when you start to realize a little bit like, oh wait, why don't, why can't I have these things? And that's when I started to slowly but surely started to understand it. But obviously when you're a kid, overall money doesn't really matter, nor do you even understand what it is, right? But anyway, um, the point of this video, and as I'm gonna be talking to you guys through whilst we get there, or once we get there, is that anything is possible. Because on paper, statistically, should I or could I have done what I've done on paper if you're just looking at the base facts oh he's from Eastern Europe can't speak English has no no education no degrees no like A stars and all this stuff no funding no but no no investor uh, no mentor could he could he create what he has created on paper technically no the statistics were pretty low <laughs> right the odds are against me but anything's possible and I'm gonna talk to you guys through exactly how you're able to do it okay um, so yeah let's just go to the house now and I'm gonna show you guys what it was like okay so we're here <laughs> I don't know what you guys are expecting but this is it um, this is the little house that I grew up in uh, like I said from the age of 1 to 10 years old um, not too much to say uh, <laughs> so um, this little area around here there was there was uh, myself my dad my mom and um, two other people that were living in this side of the house as well um, and then here was a different person that lived there uh, we had a few uh, farm animals um, we had like cows <laughs> and chickens that were living there um, this what you're looking at there so um, this was built after I moved out so uh, I think when I was the age of maybe like 14, when I was living in the UK, my dad built that entire thing himself. It's it's like a like a sauna in Latvia. Uh, it's like a very big thing to have a sauna. <laughs> like everybody has saunas and everybody does it. Anybody from Eastern Europe, I think, will know. But he built that after way like it's I think maybe five years after I had moved out. So that wasn't there. Let's show them a little round before we go inside. Actually, this is like massive uh, throwback, right? Um, so. Yeah, I mean, it looks completely different to obviously how, how it was when I was living here. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, also, this is one more thing. This is an actual well. <laughs> Again, I know to most people in like, Eastern Europe, this is very normal, but I know a lot of my viewers are like from the UK or the States. I, I, some of the uh, podcasts and some videos I've mentioned that like, you know, would wake up or my parents would have to go get the water from the well, etc. This is it. <laughs> Let's see if it's, uh, it's it worth it. Yeah. 
money. So you literally just, uh, you chuck the bucket in, grab the water, pull it with, with the string out, and then you have fresh water. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff. So I remember my dad built me like a little basketball court over there. Again, it was all like hand built, like he made everything himself. My, my dad was a very like a handyman. Anything you need built, he would build it. As you can imagine, <laughs> he made an entire little extra bit of the, of the house. Anyway, let's uh, show you guys uh, what it's like inside, and I'll talk to you guys for it. Oh, wait. So now that you like them now, yeah? No. So yeah, so for a bit of context, of course, nobody has lived here for um, maybe four years now, so it looks like no one's lived there for four years. But, I mean, just to give you guys a bit of context of how we grew up. So we don't have one of those electric stoves where you just press a button and you twist it and the stove gets hot. We literally just put wood in here, spark it up, and then you'd heat it up, and then this is where you'd cook your food, the lovely kitchen. <laughs> we used to have a fridge here. That's gone now. This was um, the bathroom. And again, like it's not it's not a case where you can just kind of turn a tap on and, and hot water comes out. We'd have to obviously just take it from the well, boil it. Again, like all of these things might be normal to some people, but I think to a lot of people it's pretty crazy. So again, we didn't necessarily have like radiators that you can just press the button and just heat up the whole house. So we just had fireplaces. There was one there. There was so my parents' bed was here. Well, it was actually a sofa. Um, it was one of those sofas where you can convert it into a bed. That was where the sofa was. So my parents would sleep there, both my mum and my dad. Yeah, I mean, this is, I guess, storage, if you want to call it that. And then this was my bedroom. <laughs> so there's a bit more lighting here. So yeah, so this was, um, this was it. This was my bedroom. This is where I grew up. So this was uh, obviously my bed. And there was actually, oh no, still here, yeah. So this was my little desk. Matter of fact, let's see. Um, I bet you there's, um, yeah, come here. Uh, show him this. I don't know what this is gonna be, but here is my name on it. Um, no, it's just like a little folder. So I remember so vividly, I would just sit here and I would just draw. I would just draw for hours because I had nothing else to do. Um, let's see, is there anything in here? Yeah, look. <laughs> This is exactly what I'm talking about. I draw like graffiti and shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was writing, but sure. What else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just draw for hours because I had nothing else to do. This is, I guess, where like my creative side came out, I guess. <laughs> Homer Simpson. So, yeah, I mean, that's... Because I didn't, I didn't have like an iPad or like an iPhone to sit here and like, you know, I don't know, play video games. And I was also a single child, so I didn't have like a brother or sister to go out and, um, I don't know, do some BS. So I would just run around, try and entertain myself, draw. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't really reading. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like reading when I was a kid. But yeah, um, what do you think, Harry? Not. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Crazy, right? Got some balls and stuff up there. That was my uh, basketball, football. So I was just trying to be like an active kid because, I mean, there's nothing else to do, right? So, I mean, look, guys, you guys can probably start to get a bit of an idea of just the, the context and how I grew up. So this is exactly what I mean. When, when, when people give me excuses or when people say, oh, I can't do this because of X thing. Or when people to comment on TikTok saying daddy's money. Yeah, yeah, or if you comment like daddy's money or if you think I come from like a... I don't think most people think I come from a rich family because, I mean, I can show this, obviously. The point of this is just to showcase and, and, and tell you anything is possible. Do you really think, like, if a, if a random person looks at a random kid here when he's 10 years of age, living like this, right? Can't speak English, has no money, etc., no education, etc. Do you think, oh yeah, that kid will probably start a, a successful online business and help hundreds, if not thousands of people around the world make more money, educate them, be a positive force for the, for the future? No, probably not. I mean, what are the odds of that? However, it's possible because I've done it, <laughs> right? And I'm nothing special. I mean, you can see, this is how I grew up. I think a lot of people grew up, especially in Latvia, lots of people grew up like this. This is normal. Maybe in the UK, if you're watching this, this is pretty crazy to you. This is the whole point. If I can do it, anybody can. It's crazy, man. 
what else can I show you guys? So yeah, we had, a, like I said, we had the, the sofa here. My parents would sleep here. And then I would sleep in that bedroom there. I'd wake up, can't remember what time, but we'd have to trek to a bus stop, which is about a 10 minute walk to obviously get on the bus to go to, the, to school. And, this, and then the bus journey was about half an hour. And the winters here are quite harsh sometimes. You know, you can get snow up to like your hips even. I mean, as a kid, you could definitely get you, the snow up to your hips, but yeah, the snow, the winter is not the nicest, but you still have to go and get up and go to school. But hey, you know, that's just how I grew up. It is what it is, not complaining, because maybe without this, I wouldn't be where I am now. So for all of you guys watching this, I think there'll be two kind of groups of people, right? One, that will be, okay, um, <laughs> I can be a lot more grateful for what I've got right now because a lot of you guys, if you're even just born in the UK, even if you're living in a council estate like I did, because when I moved from here to the UK, I lived in a council estate. And even if you're living there, like that's a lot better than here. So be grateful for that. And then I think another set of group of people should be motivated, encouraged to uh, work harder, use what you have right now because if you have people around you who can support you you speak english that's already a massive advantage to, to the majority of the population and uh and just educate yourself set big goals and then do it like make a plan on how you're going to get there and just do not stop relentlessly keep on working until you get there and hopefully that's the message i got across to you guys thank you very much for watching and supporting me all this time i can't wait to to help as many people around the world and make a, a positive impact so thank you so much for watching. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks.